is America's best steakhouse British? According to World's Best Steaks, it is. They rank Hawksmoor the second best steakhouse in the entire world above all of New York's iconic spots. We're Kristen and Will, and today we're trying Hawksmoor. Most of New York City's famous steakhouses are very, very old, but Hawksmoor just opened here in Gramercy Park in 2021. Despite that, they found themselves an iconic building. It's located in the United Charities Building, which is a national historic landmark. Not only is it stunning, but it's also super fitting. It was the headquarters for most of New York City's charitable organizations, and charity and sustainability are huge parts of Hawksmoor. It's one of just two certified B Corporation restaurants in the city, meaning everything they serve is locally and sustainably sourced. They were the first carbon neutral restaurant in the world, and they even donate loads of meals to local charities. We just put our order in. I am so excited to try some steak. We also just got some cocktails, which they're also known for here. I got the sour cherry Negroni, and it's one of their specialties. They call their signature cocktails sharpeners. Let's give it a try. Ooh, wow. It's really heavy on the cherry flavor, but it's such a nice compliment to the gin. It does have a touch of sourness to it, but not so much and i feel like again it's a really nice compliment with like a little bit of the alcohol flavor i get from the gin i don't know what i was expecting but that's awesome so i got the back burner this is supposed to be their take on a margarita but with a pretty big kick this isn't one of their sharpeners but supposedly all the cocktails here are pretty good and i couldn't resist myself a spicy margarita so let's give it a go mm. wow it's def it definitely has a little bit of a kick not a whole lot of a kick. It's kind of cut by the pineapple. You actually smell the jalapeno and spice more than you even taste it. It has a strong like jalapeno smell, but it is really good. So we decided to start with the bone marrow. It's something they're really known for here. They have an appetizer portion. They also have a side to the steak and a steak sauce. So there's lots of ways that you can try it. We decided to go with the appetizer portion just because we really wanted the bone marrow to be the main event. So you take some of it with a little bit of the onions that come on top and put it on some toasted sourdough bread. Let's try it. The flavor is unreal. Mm, the bread is so nice and toasted and it's a perfect vessel for all this salty oniony flavor. The onions are definitely really strong. I feel like I can't get a sense of what the bone marrow tastes like alone, so let me give it a try by itself. It kind of tastes like a steak, but soft, if that makes sense. The texture is really different and unique, but the steak flavor is kind of there, but more like subdued. And the onions are such a nice compliment. Amazing. We just got our food and I am so excited. We decided to get the sirloin on the bone, which is apparently the thing to get. So let's give it a try. I cannot wait. We got it medium rare and you can see that it's a good medium rare color. A little bit of dark pink in the middle and lighter pink on the outside. Mm. Wow, that is so good. I could definitely taste the smoky flavor. They cook on charcoal, so it's supposed to give off those notes. And there's such a nice char and crunch on the outside, but the meat in the middle is so nice and soft. The flavor is unreal. This piece is even better than the first. There's like a little fat on the end and it adds that much more flavor. And it's got like a nice little soft outer shell. Oh, so good. Now let's try the sides. I'm gonna start with the fry just because it's like staring me in the face over here. Mm, they're so nice and crunchy. Apparently they're triple fried in beef fat and they kind of remind me of McDonald's fries. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but they have a similar flavor. Okay, now let's try with the ketchup. Mm. It almost has like a cherry flavor, but maybe that's because I'm drinking this cherry Negroni. It tastes like a more natural ketchup though. It's not like your typical Heinz. Okay, should we move on? These carrots are sauteed in like cider and mustard. These are so nice and chunky. Look at that. They really look like they're right from the ground. I like how natural everything seems. Let's try it. Wow. That's so good. I definitely taste the mustard and it's a really nice combo with the carrot, which I was not expecting. They're so nice and soft, but also have a little bit of crunch. So they're not like too overcooked. That is amazing. Mm. Last but not least, let's try this cream spinach. 
Wow. It's not super creamy to me. You do taste the cream, but it's not like swimming and milky creaminess. It also has a little bit of kick at the end. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's pepper or like ginger, but it kind of like hits your throat a little bit. But you also taste the spinach, which I feel like is when you know it's a really good cream spinach, when it's creamy, but you also get the flavor of the vegetable. It's not being overpowered by any of the other ingredients. It's just complementing the spinach. That's really good. And I do like the spice. I am so excited to try this. I'm gonna start with the steak too. The porterhouse T-bone and the sirloin on the bone, you all pay by ounce. This was a 26 ounce and uh, it was $4.50 an ounce. Wow, so much more tender than I was expecting. You definitely taste a bit of like smokiness and char from the grill. Let's try some of these other sides. Supposedly these are the three sides to get here. A lot of the sides look really good, but heard that these are what they were known for, so we just decided to try all three because we couldn't decide. Mm. Wow. It is like almost gingery. Those are really different. We've liked a lot of the other cream spinaches we've had. The one in Strip House really stands out because of how creamy it is. And this I think is really, really delicious and flavorful without being super creamy. I like it a lot. Mm. Oh yeah, a little bit of apple. I don't really taste any like mustard, but they are good. I mean, probably the best carrot I've ever had in my entire life. Let's try these french fries now. Mm. It is a really nostalgic McDonald's fry taste. They seem way higher end than McDonald's, but they just like have that flavor. You taste a little bit of the beef in those too, probably from all the fat that it's fried in. Everything is delicious. Gotta get every last bit. <laughs> we just got our dessert. It looks amazing. We decided to get the peanut butter Louie, but they threw in this sticky toffee pudding because it's Will's birthday. The service has been incredible. It was so sweet of them to give us that. But let's try this. I cannot wait. It's so gooey on top, but the bottom has a crunch to it. Let's see how it is. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's like a Snickers bar on steroids. The bottom is crunchy. It has a little bit of like caramel and peanut butter flavor, but then the top has like a chocolate mousse and a chocolate drizzle on top. And it's so nice and gooey, but then you get that crunch from the bottom crust. That is incredible. It's good on its own, but let's try it with the ice cream. Wow. The ice cream just adds like an extra creaminess and it cuts the chocolate a little bit. Okay, now should we try this sticky toffee pudding? It's drenched in sauce and the ice cream is melting in it. It looks so good. Wow. This is so moist and the ice cream adds so much nice cream. It is very sweet though. Like it's very heavy. I definitely couldn't eat this whole thing. This is amazing, but I think I like the peanut butter Louis better. I honestly could say that it's probably one of the best desserts I've ever had. It is so good. Well, I am shocked. I honestly think the UK gave the US a bit of a run for its money tonight. That was outstanding. The service and atmosphere were some of the best we've ever had. And obviously the steak was incredible, but steak aside, Every single thing we had was amazing. The bone marrow was incredible. All of the sides were some of the best we've had. And that peanut butter Louis, you absolutely cannot miss if you come here. Well, if you've been to Hawksmoor, either in the US or in the UK, we would love to know what you thought of it. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video and we will see you guys in the next one.